As the tropical Pacific island nations of Polynesia, Micronesia, and Melanesia move into the 21st century, economic self-sufficiency is a matter of vital interest. The key question, how can island populations become financially independent given their narrow resource base and the need to preserve environment and culture? Today, as in the past, islanders look to the ocean for answers. Sustainable use of the sea's resources is a policy objective of many Pacific Island governments. In the Republic of Palau, cultivation of giant clams shows how sea farming can preserve threatened species while producing jobs and income. Giant clams are highly valued in the Asia-Pacific seafood industry, especially when served sashimi style. They're also in great demand in the saltwater aquarium industry. But in order for island sea farmers to maximize their income from giant clam farming, all parts of the giant clam must be sold, including the shell. Today we'll take a look at how the giant clam shells, now being produced around the Pacific, can be turned into valuable products for export or for sale in the local tourist trade. We'll talk about processing the shells to make them clean, assembling them into useful products, and marketing them in a small but profitable gift shop. On today's giant clam farms, Shells are produced as a byproduct when clam meat is harvested and when mortalities occur. Shells should be cleaned of all meat, then dried in the sun for a week or two. Sorting the shells by species and size is the first step in the process of adding value. There are many ways to store the shells, but one of the best is to construct wire bins like these using security mesh. Cleaning the shells is a two-part process. The first part is to soak the shells in a dilute solution of household bleach, like Clorox. The bleach sterilizes the shells and removes bits of meat and algae that might otherwise cause odor. The second step in the cleaning process is the acid dip. The acid removes chalky white deposits from the shell exterior and helps bring out its natural colors. Use a diluted solution of muriatic acid, which is available at most hardware stores. When working with a strong acid like muriatic, be sure to take appropriate safety precautions. This means protecting your hands, eyes, and lungs from possible burns. It's also a wise idea to keep a hose with running water nearby in case of an accident. The shell, in this case Hippopus hippopus, is dipped very briefly into the acid solution. Then it is rinsed in fresh water and allowed to dry. Be very careful not to leave the shell in the acid too long. Sometimes it is necessary to grind giant clamshells prior to selling them or using them in craftware. Use a bench grinder like this one to remove nicks on the shell lip of Tridacna derasa and other giant clam species. It takes only a minute or so to make the shell lip smooth and attractive. Again, be sure to use appropriate safety precautions to protect your hands, eyes, and lungs. The bench grinder is also used to flatten the base of the shell so it will lay flat on the table when used as a bowl. If the shell is too thick to grind, use a bamboo ring as a base. Many shell craft items are assembled with the help of a hot glue gun. The gun heats a plastic stick until it liquefies. The hot liquid forms a strong bond between the shells. Now let's take a look at how to add value to the giant clam shells you've just cleaned. The simplest way to market the shells is as ornaments. No crafting is required. Just wrap the shells with a ribbon or place a drop of hot glue at the hinge to hold the shells together. The shells can be stretch wrapped in plastic to keep them clean. This is a good idea if the shells are going to be exported. 
Hippopus hippopus shells have beautiful colors and are in high demand among tourists. With a little extra effort, shells can be crafted into a variety of useful objects. These include bowls, soap dishes, wasabi dishes, and candlestick holders. Giant clams also make beautiful night lights. This is a hippopus hippopus shell attached to an acrylic base using a hot glue gun. Another popular type of night light is made by hot gluing a shell to a wall socket fixture like this one. Giant clam shells can be made into a wide variety of jewelry items, including earrings, pins, and necklaces. This is a post earring made from a Tridacna durasa shell. Another type of earring is called the French wire earring, also made from Tridacna durasa. Giant clams can also be silver plated or gold plated to make lovely and expensive necklaces. Full details for making these products are given in the manual accompanying the video. Marketing is the final step in turning clams to cash. Let's examine how clamshell products can be sold in an island gift shop. At Palau's MMDC gift shop, giant clamshells are displayed beside other products and beautiful aquarium exhibits. The aquariums show what giant clams look like in their natural habitat, the coral reef. Tridacna squamosa. Tridacna durasa. Tridacna crocea. Tridacna maxima, Hippopus porcelanus, and Hippopus hippopus all can be used for making giant clam shell craft. The living aquarium displays help attract customers to the gift shop. Once inside the shop, the customers are very likely to make a purchase of a giant clam shell product. In addition to the giant clam shell craft, the gift shop sells many related items such as t-shirts, postcards, posters, planters, and other items. Thousands of customers visit the shop each year, and many have been very satisfied with their giant clam shell purchases. We hope that you've enjoyed this video presentation on how to make and sell giant clam shell products. For more information, please refer to the illustrated manual written to accompany this video, or ask for publication number 125 from the Center for Tropical and Subtropical Aquaculture at the Oceanic Institute.